Well, good afternoon, everyone. Half past three here on the 11th of May uh, and uh, the American market running and running down fast uh, over the uh, first hour. As you can see, uh, pretty much everything down, uh, including the Dow itself. The Dow is down 500 points uh, and uh, the Dow and the Nasdaq uh, both off one and a half percent. So. Um, uh, all the indices saying the same thing today as far as I can see. As you can see the pointer is in the red uh, obviously and Vectivest does not advocate buying stocks at this time and if we do change, if we do uh, finish uh, the day uh, like this then the longest term measure of the trend on Vectivest USA will have turned to down and it's got to do one hell of a lot of work between now and uh, 9 o'clock tonight uh, to in fact uh, heal that situation. The buy sell ratio right down at 0 0.76 and that slipped a lot today. So uh, let's just have a look uh, and uh, if I, I just want to look now at the intraday situation and uh, that level was defended earlier. This is a 4 hour chart of the overnight market and uh, uh, dropped at the open, it dropped this morning down to this level <coughs> and uh, as you can see the tail on that candle at the American open it went right up there and uh, there was buying at the old low and it looks to me uh, as if that low has gone now so uh, <coughs> clearly very very important levels here uh, on the market uh, down around here 4120 odd and if it falls below that then there's one hell of a lot of fresh air uh, on this chart okay uh, right down here uh, next uh, resist uh, support that turns and resistance that turns and support hopefully would be down around 4000 so uh, a very very strong selling this afternoon these levels are around 4120 absolutely critical uh, uh, in the US uh, well I had a new position on AMAT I was stopped out of that yesterday afternoon uh, uh, and uh, that's gone so that that position I was stopped out of yesterday afternoon I bought into it at 132 I was stopped out at uh, uh, Friday's low I think or Thursday low so uh, uh, that's gone uh, uh, I'm still holding Hortons and it's come off a little bit I'm still holding a, a new core and uh, the GDX now let's have a look at the gold market the gold market uh, came off uh, with uh, and why it's done that I don't know uh, the gold market came off uh, with uh, the uh, S&P or the American stock market in the pre-market but it's still sitting up at a very respectable 1831 uh, I, I thought that tail of the candle was going to go back and test that high at about 1800 so it's holding up very well indeed so is the GDX and so is our uh, gold shares uh, so uh, folks uh, people always wonder uh, at uh, uh, Vectivest UK why I in fact look at the American market and uh, if you look at the UK market the last time I uh, had a, a gander at Bloomberg it was significantly down on the day so um, uh, the American market tends to lead our markets relatively cheap and I think if there is a danger to the UK market it's going to come from across the pond and that's why I spend so much time looking at it uh, so uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, I'll probably close these positions out today. They've done very well for me. D. Uh, Hortons and Newcore. Newcore has been particularly good, uh, and uh, that's just a classic uh, uh, spring pattern. And uh, uh, that one has worked very nicely indeed. Uh, and uh, my stop loss is underneath this low. And uh, but I'd be tempted to just bank that today uh, if in fact we do get a confirmed down and I think that is pretty much fait uh, accompli now. Uh, in the UK I, I've, I've done uh, nothing, we've come off today so I can imagine many of the stocks that I'm holding uh, have taken a, a reasonable hiding 
uh, uh, Platinum has done very very well for us but I haven't done anything at all. BlackRock World Mining, I got an email earlier that it had come off today, people wondering whether they should take profits or not. I haven't done anything in the UK apart from buying into a little bit of Pan-African resources uh, last Friday. Uh, I think we need to watch our stop losses very carefully folks in this environment until we see how this plays out very carefully indeed. Uh, uh, the seasonality is not good and uh, the uh, strength of the selling over the last couple of days has surprised me. Uh, I felt reasonably sure that this index was going to get up to somewhere between 42.50 and 42.77. That didn't happen uh, and uh, uh, the strength uh, of the selling uh, uh, as you can see no respite at all uh, so very important level now uh, let's see what happens if that level goes then prepare yourself for an awful lot more red over the next few days uh, I hope this helps this is the time to be strong folks not to hesitate on stop losses to lock in the profits uh, if uh, any of your stocks get close uh, or hit your stop loss let's lock in the profits that we've made uh, over the last year. Uh, thanks very much. Bye.